Hi there and welcome to the new tutorial where we were going to look at how we can connect Power BI with ESPN website and import data and tables. So here we have the ESPN website and as you can see right now what I have is the ESPN Crick Info which is nothing but the cricket information and uh, it has this tab which is stats. So over here if we look at you have a couple of options like you have home, you have ICC rankings, players. So maybe what we can do is just look at the ICC rankings and see what information that it contains. Now this is true for any other website wherever you know it contains any data set or any table related information. Okay, I have some information problem with my internet connection. Let me check. All right, so my internet connection is back. And uh, what do you have over here is the ICC rankings. And it has a couple of different rankings like the ICC test championship. So all those countries who plays, who play uh, test matches, ICC ODI championship, all those countries who play the ODI or the one day uh, international cricket and ICC 2020 rankings and down there you have ICC women's ODI women's 2020 and all that so what I'll do I'll copy this and I will come back to the power BI within that I will go to the web option and within web option I will provide the URL and I'll click OK and then it will going to establish a connection within the ESPN and uh, going to give me the in the various tables. So it may take little time based on the internet connection and looks like my internet connection is a little bit slow, but uh, that depends. Again, I said, uh, if you have a fast connection, you will get it pretty fast. Okay, so here we have the tables, which is uh, 25th August 2020 that means these are the ones which is the country playing the test and then ODI I guess 2020 and all so let's say we want these two tables maybe and click load once we click on load it will start loading the data for these two tables and then we can uh, as of now as you can see 25th August and 16th September is not reflecting the right information so if I just uh, go to the ICC championship over here um, what it has it is picking up is this data as you can see but we can rename the table to this one so if I just copy this and go back here it is still loading it again it is based on the uh, data connection that we have so may take a little bit time so let me pause it here all right so data is loaded and over here if you will see we have these two tables so 25th august is nothing but the um but the test matches so we should have the option of renaming it and i'll just rename this and this is uh for the uh, odi odi let's make it odi and let's probably change it to test only. Um, rename test. So just right click and give whatever name you want. And if you come to the table section, as of now it is not showing you anything. So what you can do is enable the table or expand the table and just select anywhere on these columns and it will start showing you the table. Now if you want to see the test table, just click on the test table and you will see the test table. And then if you will have this option or sorry if if you go inside the model option then you will see the relationship a default relationship that is being created and if you hover your mouse over to this you it will show you on which basis the uh, relationship is being created so rating is probably the column which has been picked up if this is not true which is the case in this in this scenario as well because we want a relationship based on the team so we can change that by right clicking over here and clicking on delete and we will say delete relationship. Now what I'll do is I'll just drag this on top of the team which is present here in test from ODI and if you will see uh, it is now the relationship is now based on the, uh, the teams which is present here. So that's about how you can fetch the web data like this 
prepare your own dashboard or if you want if you want to do your own analysis or if you are really interested in doing the predictions and all you know you can do the analysis by by fetching this data and uh, get it inside power bi so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic